What is up, everybody? It is Alex from Heavy New York calling from Zoom again, and this time we are here with Noct of Dimna Latva. Thank you so much for being here. It is Hi. great to have you here. Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing today? It's super hot in Warsaw now. Yeah, I, I bet. It's very cold and rainy here. Uh, so I think it would be so it's a very appropriate weather in New York to be listening to your music. It's cold, dark and rainy in the middle of summer after we had the sun blocked out from all the smoke. Sounds great. Uh, I'm dreaming for such a weather now here. Yeah, I bet it would make for great artistic inspiration. But it's so good to have you here with your new album, uh, which translates to the land other Bla under black wings blood is a beautiful, beautiful album, and I can't wait for the rest of the world to hear it. Um, being that it has sort of a similar title as, you know, sort of re referencing The Land as the previous one, is your whole album's meant to be kind of like a series or like a, a chronological listen? Is it meant to be kind of like a, a series of novels in a way? Yes, uh, this is the second part of our conceptual trilogy about Belarus. The first was called Bomb. The nearest it's called Blood, and uh, after we are, now we are prepared, we are preparing for uh, record and the third and the ending part. It will be kind of different. So yes, uh, it's conceptual story about um, listening. You can uh, you can listen uh, Blood first and uh, some for the next. It doesn't matter. It's uh, like with the three parts uh, of um, Belarusian literature, Belarusian history, Belarusian culture. Yeah. I've noticed that, uh, like when I, uh, like one uh, Bell Russian band I've interviewed uh, recently was a uh, Wawan to me, a fantastic uh, b uh, band that's uh, kind of has that similar doom aspect behind it. Is like the goal of Dimna Latva to kind of like inform the listener on Belarusian history in a way, or engage them in a message or a meaning, or do you want the music to be more open to interpretation? I think yes. Um, for now, maybe you know about um, the circumstances, about what is going on in our country, about oppressions, about... Yes, I think this is a part of our mission uh, to inform the world about our country, because uh, it's not so well known i know that uh, in some countries you can just uh, just tell i'm from belarus and somebody um say oh is this part of russia <laughs> it's it's so sad and um, our country really not so small uh but really not so well now in the world but we have um in this history um you can the beautiful culture and uh we we are adding all of this in our music, but of course we are not uh, a band like <laughs> uh, we are not a propaganda band. Uh, we are maybe it's not uh, our mission is not only something social. This is also our own story, just not our story. It's our land, our culture, and uh, it's the natural uh, to think about. Uh, your own story, I think, and your own culture. Of course, uh, there are some bands like, for example, Czech Culture Fire, who are going so deep and beautiful into other cultures and uh, other um, countries' uh, history and culture. But uh, I think it's always good uh, to think about what you have, about your own. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, I have uh, ancestors who uh, are from uh, modern day Minsk. It was part of Russia or Poland at the time the borders kept changing, but modern day they came from Minsk. And um, you know, there's so much culture and there's a lot of uh, stuff happening now. I was wondering um, with this out, with the last album coming out in 2017, between 2017 and now, a lot has happened in Belarus. Um, not just what, yeah. not just what's currently happening, but I know that in 2020 there was a lot of um, unrest with, uh, with I guess like the election or something to do with Lushenka or whatnot. Um, did has the recent turn of events in the world maybe influenced uh, this album as well? Was it is it focused more on current events or? Is it almost kind of like, are you telling like a history lesson of your culture and your country? 
Yeah, we plan to, uh, to do this album just a uh, historical, uh, historical story, but during the recording, we understand uh, there was so much new grief and pain and uh, the big war in Ukraine started uh, after uh, the album was mixed, but for now, uh, sometimes I, I just read and use the same stories as the stories from the album. The album is about war, um, mostly about all the wars uh, in Belarus and territories, but mostly um, about the Second World War because it was in the areas, and uh, we know some people who survived uh, during the occupation and World War, at, uh, World War II personally. For example, my grandmother. Uh, so this was natural to use some stories from archives from uh, our relatives and for now it's very terrific how much stories are going again the same stories uh, in uh, after maybe 80 80 years looks like war is always war and uh, also protests of uh, 2020 also give us some ideas for example um son to freedom Firstly, uh, I have an idea. Um, this uh, should be a story of soldier who uh, writing a letter to his home, to his family. But after 2020, uh, it becomes a story of political prisoner who also uh, trying to write a letter to his family. This was because uh, Leslie Knife uh, was <laughs> accepted uh, to our guest for college before, before the protests. Uh, he was tried, and uh, this was why not to uh, write these lyrics about him personally. Mm -hmm. Also, I just can read my own lyrics, uh, which was written before 2020, and uh, it's uh, I just <laughs> uh, read and uh, understand that this could be understand uh, in another way not only war but also about protest why do you so, <laughs> sorry no no it's okay uh i was just gonna ask why do you feel that the music that we hear from dinma latva this you know very like a uh, blackened sort of doom style of metal that's uh really really um really uh, has a great aura around it it's very emotional and it's very atmospheric why do you feel that this style of music was always the best style of music in order to express your message and inform the listener on your meaning. You know, maybe if we are talking about Belarusian metal scene, our uh, most common style is black metal. We have huge black metal scene, very, very underground, but really huge. Um, it's natural for us uh, because of our land, because of our history, because of our nature, because of our, our climate with uh, uh, long winter. Um, about Doom, I always like Doom. Uh, Doom. By the way, Doom was my first uh, metal genre I heard. I will not uh, talking about uh, some um, early heavy, like, like every every person, of course, heard Fear of the Dark, of Iron Man, etc., etc., etc. Et but uh, really, my first uh, genre was Doom Metal, and Black Metal now is my favorite. But why are you talking about me? Mm. Music is composed by Ocean and uh, he can compose different styles about uh, the style he's composing now for Dimna Lot. But this is just one of his projects, but uh, maybe the most famous uh, now he topped uh, all other projects. Uh, he composed just to uh, do more for Dimna Lot. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why he such dark music because he is. Uh, not a gloomy person. <laughs> I even think he's one, maybe the most uh, psychologically normal person in my life. Where he's really adequate. He's not such a depressive guy who is who is drinking and crying uh, all the days. No, he's a funny mm, and adequate person who just composes every day, and nobody knows why he writes such a kind of such kind of music yeah i'm living with him right now in WhatsApp. uh we haven't uh, lived together before but just we just rent a flat was three of our bandmates here 
and I still don't know why. <laughs> I, I, I've noticed that the more the more aggressive and the more depressing the music is, the nicer the musicians are. Yeah, really, because sometimes, uh, sometimes ago, and I was, uh, I was drinking, for example, with punk musicians, and they was not really so fun. But when you meet this depressive suicidal of black metal musicians, it's always the funniest part. Is. Uh, I remember parties with Psychonaut 4 from Georgia, uh, parties with one, one party with uh, my Ukrainian colleagues. It was back in maybe 2015. And this was really one of the greatest and funniest parties in, in the world. <laughs> Absolutely. So really, this works. Yeah, it works. It's, you know, some people have medication. We have doom metal and black metal. So. <laughs> yeah, and black metal, uh, black metal parties I like. I like Crop Spain. Uh, I like all this uh, funny old cool uh, black metal shit like crab poses, Crop Spain, and uh, running through <laughs> to the forest and tequila. Well, I was gonna ask. So sometimes I make such kind of parties. Uh, I said, I just talking to my friends, guys, I'm creating panda parties. <laughs> just bring your alcohol. Uh, I have some uh, makeup, makeup shit. <laughs> for making crop paint that's amazing and they would have some some kind of new black metal that's amazing black metal parties i love it um, yeah. um by going under uh the identity of knocked uh in in this band do you feel that like um maybe you portray an identity or a character outside of yourself that you might ha not have like because i know that you play with other bands too such as absence of life or Aka, um, Akanatum, if I destroyed that, um, but like, uh, do you maybe portray an identity outside of who you personally are as Nacht in Dimna Latva as opposed to who you are in your everyday life? No, no, it's me. Of course, I can be different. Uh, I don't uh, make some uh, punk black metal body at the stage with Dimna Latva, but maybe in the future I'll have such project I. I want to have uh, such kind of project right now, really, in Poland, because of all all this shit of past years. Maybe I need some fun, but uh, no, it's also me. It's it's what who I'm who I'm inside. I don't think uh, that um, you should be just this person or this person. Uh, understand? We can listen to doom metal or death bam or black metal and in the time uh, great black metal parties for example yeah. i know of course but sometimes uh, in minsk in our concerts we had some uh, funny moments for example when we played at halloween 2020 i uh sang uh, a funny song from the stage between our songs. This was the song Shchutvin mm -hmm. <laughs> This was uh, one of our protest hits. This was the parody, uh, parody song uh, from our most famous uh, center actors. Uh, they created a parody for uh, Lukashenko's uh, pop music. For Lukashenko's uh, old style Soviet pop music, uh, they created this parody song. And this was greatest uh, one of the greatest hits uh, in Belarus that yeah in the end I I was in I was with uh, uh, to uh, with belt cap with uh, both uh, ears and uh, painted with blood but uh, yes I was singing uh, with my extreme vocals <laughs> in the song why not this was Halloween. <laughs> Do you, being that you know you you sing about Belarusian culture and you sing about um, a lot of history, but has your personal life or your personal experiences or personal emotions also served as a source of inspiration for Dimna Latva as well, or is this more of an escapism from your personal life in a way? Oh, of course, of course. Sometimes my personal life or my personal emotions are in. I even can say it, it's always in. We this like like we have. Uh, several uh, like a sandwich <laughs> you have uh, some really historical facts uh, after you have uh, your maybe 
what you think about these historical facts and after you you have your own emotions about these facts and also some kind of your own story for example uh we have a song there is no mommy uh from our first album it's um slightly dedicated to um those and classics uh people uh people of the swamp by uh Ivan Melech. but uh really more it's my own story of my depression in 2015 big depression and uh, i was i remember i was writing this lyrics uh, sitting in the bar uh concert which uh, i don't care i don't need this concert i don't need this bar i felt so bad but also we can say that this is song about people about some personage from people uh, of the slum of course true but not only it. Uh, this is, you can say, it, something like this about almost every every song. Maybe it's okay. To freedom is a, a story of our of our friend. But we also have feelings about uh, such a situation. For example, okay, he was tried to three years in prison. Uh, this is his story, and now. Uh, she can't uh, meet his family. He's in Lithuania. His family is still in Belarus. Almost, it's already more than two years. But, for example, about us, uh, after his trial in two days, all of the concerts, concerts in Belarus were banned. Wow. So also, it's also part of our story. And all this protest is also part of our personal story because, of course, me and Yohan. Uh, there was at all protests. Uh, sometimes it was scary. Happily, uh, we haven't been in prison, but this is not because of we wasn't at protests. This, this is uh, because of we're we are lucky guys. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I think anybody participating in a protest during that turbulent time is bravery, regardless of how the outcome. And I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that you're okay, and I wish the best of luck Thanks. to everybody. I feel like. Uh, Mm, not real Belarusians because we have a joke that uh, real Belarusians, every real Belarusian was in prison, wow. but we wasn't. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here to tell uh, the story. I wanted to get the message across in this interview, so I'm glad you were able to uh, that you were glad you're able to tell these stories because the world needs to know. Thank you. And and I think your music is also a good way of in forming us as well being that you've also played in other projects such as absence of life though and other bands as well have you always conveyed a similar message or similar meaning or has every project that um you've been involved with been its own approach and its own separate form of expression no i think uh, every project is separate for example about absence of life this was uh, mainly a project of uh, my friend uh, who also was uh, and in the look the time now, he, no, he doesn't. He, for now, I'm not part of uh, Access of Life anymore. Just I wrote those in different ways. Uh, also, I was singing in Twizna, but was an atmospheric black metal uh, band uh, before the Nalot This is a place where I met Yohan. Uh, and this was also different uh, in Twizna. I haven't um, tried the music or vocal because uh, I came after previous vocalists who already uh, recorded an album with them and uh, uh, go away from the band. Uh, in Essence of Life, uh, I remember I read maybe three, three songs, lyrics, three or four, ah, maybe four. Uh, and then latest album, uh, this was mainly um, for Lutz album. But I have uh, an idea for some different uh, projects. Maybe I'll be able to start and in you here. Just don't, don't know right now because because we need time. Mm -hmm. Time and people. What is? I have some, uh, some ideas, but really uh, for new project, you need a uh, different concept and or different style. Okay, you can make, maybe we can make some Doom project with our concept, but uh, 
And I think uh, for the Melutva, it would be better just to record different albums with different concepts. Like uh, Chernobyl, uh, our format or about Chernobyl is not a part of this trilogy. We have an idea for new albums and some music, and uh, we don't want to work with trilogy uh, eternally. Yeah, you let me. For other projects, I have an idea. For example, for punk project about uh, uh, Lukashenko's Belarus, uh, with uh, a lot of content uh, for which you, uh, we, I can uh, receive new criminal case, but have no time and people for this. This is the same concept. Yeah. Maybe, but uh, this is totally different style. Yeah. Well, uh, I, you, you answered the final question I was going to ask already, uh, which was, being that you have a trilogy out, and this is uh, the third one that we heard, what else can we be expecting for new music from Dima Latva in the future in terms of, like, are you going to make another trilogy or another series, or is every album going to almost kind of be like its own individual storyline um, and expressing different aspects? And now we are also working on uh, our next uh, individual album. Not a part of trilogy, not uh, beginning of new trilogy, or do a, just a separate album uh, with kind of, kind of different music. Uh, Johan had already composed it before because he's composing like, and now, <sighs> like Rabbit like Spark. <laughs> he's just making new music. Uh, I, every day I just uh, enter in his room and she's sitting here near his computer with his uh, earphones and with his guitar said, I'm composing. <laughs> so we have we have a lot of new music uh, to record uh, and uh, this album uh, which will be released uh, this August uh, was composed uh, and I think in 2017, 2018. Yeah. So it just takes a lot of time uh, to record and for post production and for also to also has taken some time to uh, find new label because we wanted to um, find bigger label uh, than our previous independent label uh, and also we understand uh, you know about the cues for vinyl pressing so our album was <laughs> was mixed. Oh, one year before. Oh, it's a lot of time. We yeah. need you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was mixed before the, before the war. Oh wow. It was before big war. Okay, so, but I know that it, for it's definitely worth the wait because this album again is I consider to be very very magical and very informative and very uh, beautiful. So I can't wait for the rest of the world to hear it and for the rest of the world to hear more. So uh, I want to thank you so much. Is there just any chance we could get a live Din Malatva show in the U.S. one day? Because we would love to have you here. Oh, please. <laughs> All of us understand that uh, this could take a lot of money. For now, we haven't such money, but we just need uh, our album uh, to be listened more and more. And uh, in such a case, if we have a lot of fans in the U.S., I hope it will come true. Yeah, we would love to have you here. But thank you so much. We just need to become super famous, and after will come any. <laughs> of course. Any possible. Of course. Which is what. But why... uh, need to be realistic. So, even for super talented, super famous bands, it always take uh, took uh, a lot of years. So, I just have small part of hope to visit any uh, great uh, countries. Uh, before I will be too old. Yeah. Well, we will love to have you here. We're waiting for you. It'll be worth the wait. But thank you so much. Everybody, thank we... you very much. Anytime. Thank you, everybody. We are here with Din Malatva. Be sure to check out The Land Under Black Wings, Blood. It is an absolutely beautiful album. This is Alex from Heavy New York, and we will see you next time. Thank you.